Welcome to Maths TV. Today we'll be going through IGCSE Mathematics Paper 3 to Feb March 2018. Today we'll be going through IGCSE Mathematics Score Paper 3 058032 Feb March 2018. Question number 1 A part explain why these rectangles are mathematically similar so for mathematically similar uh, one rectangle should be enlargement of the other one with the same ratio so 1.5 multiplied by 3 is this one 4.5 and 2.5 multiplied by 3 will be 7.5 so we will write one one rectangle is the rectangle is enlargement of the other. Second part, how many times bigger is the area of large rectangle than the area of the small uh, rectangle? So we can check the ratios this one and this one 4.5 divided by 1.5 this will be value of k and length ratios we can check with the calculator so if we divide 4.5 divided by 1.5 we'll get 3 so value of k is equal to 3 but for area, we will be using k square. So we'll write k square is equal to 3 square, which is equal to 9. So this will be 9 times bigger. Now in this B part, um, the diagram shows a net of a cube. Net of a cube. This is given open net of the cube, this one, net of a cube. The square labeled B is the base. So this is as base. Write a letter T in the square that is the top of the cube. So for the, for the top of the cube, we have to write a letter T. See if we... I have prepared a model for this one. If you check, this is same as... As this one so this is same shape I have prepared for you and if we fold this this is the base written B so if we fold like this one so this will be the top and this will be the side so we can if you can see this is the cube which we will be we can make if we are having if we cut this one we will make this cube so base will be opposite side top will be opposite side of the base so this will be t position so if we share this t position so that we can identify this is the shaded position which is top of the cuboid so we open and check if we open and place over here now we can see this is the top so we will write for here t because this is the top of the cube you can check this one this is base and this is base and this is top base and top second part on the grid draw different net of the cube so we have to draw a different net of the cube so cube we know is having a base so we can draw base first for example say this one is the base we can write here B, this is the base. Then four sides, one side this one, 
and second side this one so this will be the two sides one and two so this will be and the other side will be one and two this side we can join this as well so fourth side will be this now this is the base and these are one two three four sides and top of this one we can attach with this or this one or this one or any any four of them so i will attach top over here so you can attach on other sides as well and this will be top and i'm writing here t so that you can identify this is top and these are one two three four sides and this is base and this is the top you can attach this t on this side on this side or this side this is done next part c the diagram shows a cuboid work out the surface area of the cuboid surface area of the cuboid will have to take the sides for example cuboid we can roughly join with this and this one so this is basically the cuboid and this will be the side portion and this will be having area of 4 multiplied by 3 so 2 into 4 multiplied by 3 because this side and this opposite side this one we have taken these two sides and now we will take this base this is the base so 6 multiplied by 3 and top as well so 2 into 6 into 3 so we have taken this top this one this top we have taken this top and bottom now front and this back this will be having measurement of 6 and 4 so 2 into 6 multiplied by 4 this will be total surface area of this one so surface area 2 into 4 multiplied by 3 plus 2 into 6 multiplied by 3 and bracket close plus 2 into 6 multiplied by 4 this will be equal to 108 so 108 centimeter square work out the volume of this cuboid volume we are multiplying length into width into height so 6 into 3 into 4 this will be equal to 6 into 3 into 4 this will be equal to 72 centimeter cube now the third part write down the dimensions of a different cuboid that has the same volume as this cuboid so it can be like for example we can take this one as 12 centimeter by 3 centimeter 12 centimeter multiply by 3 centimeter and multiply by 2 centimeter if we multiply these three this is basically not 73 this is 72 and this will be 12 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 this will be also resulting to 72 so these numbers are also resulting to 32 so this is also another option which when which we, we can take for a cuboid having same volume now question number two each of 196 candidates has a candidate number from 3001 Two, three, one, nine, six. So in between these two, and the candidates sit in numerical order in columns and rows, as shown in the diagram. There are twenty rows. The diagram shows part of the plan and uh, for where the candidates sit. 
and these are the rows and columns given the diagram shows where candidates a and b sit a and b write on their numbers so this is three double zero three this will be three zero two three and this will be three zero four three because the difference of twenty so this will be three zero four three and for b if you check this is three double zero one three zero two one three zero four one so this will be three zero six one so this is also addition of twenty so three zero six one complete this statement the candidate the candidate three one three five three one three five sits in column column number will be uh, we will get from here column number will be seven and row number will be fifteen Now, can it, uh, part three candidate C sits in column N and row number one. Find an expression in terms of N for the number of candidate C. So, uh, N is the term like column number is N. So, we will multiply 2N plus this will be uh, so f we have to find for column n and row one so it is this is the row one basically and if we check the difference between these two difference is 20 and difference between these two is also 20 these two will also be 20 so difference is 20 so that's why we are writing 20 n plus how much will make 3001 so if n is equal to 1 this will be 20 so 3001 minus 20 will be equal to 2981 so we add here 2981 so this will be the general formula for n is equal to 1 we should will replace n is equal to 1 so it will be 20 plus 20 plus 2981 which is equal to 3001 for the second term we will replace n is equal to 2 over here and we will get 40 so 20 into 2 will be 40 so 40 plus 2981 this will be equal to 3021 and this is the second term so that's why we have taken this formula so we are writing 20n plus 2981 the geography examination lasts for 1 hour and 40 minutes. 1 hour 40 minutes. Harry is allowed 25% extra time for his geography examination. Work out the total time Harry has for his examination. So 25% uh, extra time. So work out the total time. So 125 percent of uh, one hour one hour and 40 minute basically we'll be calculating this one so 125 percent of uh, one hour and 40 minutes so this will be equal to two hours and five minutes so we can write two hours and five minutes five minutes we can write zero five or five minutes now c part the number of examinations that each of the 196 candidates takes is recorded in the table so this is the table find the range range will be the maximum maximum minus minimum so eight minus five will be equal to three so we can write here three Find the median, median will be the middle value and out of 196 if we uh, divide 196 divided by 2 this will be equal to 98 and 98 will be falling in this category because 25 if we add 27 we'll have to check for 98 so I'm writing here 98 I will check so 27 plus 
42 will be equal to 69 so six, we, we are checking for 98 if we add plus 63 this will be 132 so 198 is falling in this category so median will be 7 because for this one 7 is the number which we will be mentioning then calculate the mean for calculating mean we have formula sigma fx divided by f sigma f basically so this will be equal to um, 27 multiplied by 5 27 multiplied by 5 this plus 42 multiplied by 6 plus seven, uh, 63 multiplied by 7 uh, mean value basically we have to write this answer over the proper place we uh, we have to write this answer this is basically three part and we are writing answer at the second part so i will shift this one over here formula will be sigma fx divided by sigma f and this is equal to 27 multiplied by 5 plus 42 multiplied by 6 plus 63 multiplied by 7 plus uh, 64 multiplied by 8 and whole divided by the total which is 196 so we can move page a little above and we can calculate this this is uh, 27 multiplied by 5 plus 42 multiplied by 6 plus 63 multiplied by 7 and plus 64 multiplied by 8 and divided by 196 this will be equal to 6.8 so we can write 6.8367367 367. so we can write here 6.84 as answer we are rounding from here so this will be 6.84 a candidate is selected at random find the probability that the candidate takes fewer than eight examinations so if we check from here fewer than 8 will be excluding the 64 so 196 196 minus 64 will be equal to 132 so probability will be 132 divided by 196 so this one and we can write answer 132 over 196 this will be the probability Question number three, this is telechart question. 25 students go on a water sports trip. The students each choose their favorite water sport. So this is the favorite water sport they have written. And rafting, if we check one, two, and three, and four, and four, Five. So we can write, make tally chart one, two, three, four, and this will be five. Next will be this frequency will be five. Surfing. So surfing will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8. So this will be tally chart. Fishing. Fishing will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and no more. So 4 will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will be the frequency. Then kayaking is um, home. Where is kayaking? So 1 and 2 only 2 so 1 and 2 and this will be 2 and then comes to snorkeling this will be 1 2 and 3 4 5 and 6 basically 
so we can write one two three four five and six write on the mode mode will be surfing because eight is the maximum for surfing so we can write here surfing then comes work out the percentage of students who whose favorite water sport is this one so for this is six so six out of uh, 25 because total students were 25 and we have to calculate percentage so multiply by 100 as well so 6 divided by 25 and multiply by 100 will be equal to 24 percent so we can write here 24 percent b part the table shows the time of the high and low tides um, so these are the timings given write down the time of the second high tide on wednesday this is wednesday this is second high tide so 1537 but they are asking for 12 hours clock so it will be 337 then comes to 337 we can even write like for example pm over here so that we can identify work out the time between the two low tides on thursday on thursday this is thursday right so time between two low tides uh, this is low tide on thursday and this is low tide on thursday so time between that one we'll have to calculate so 22 hours this one and 7 minutes minus 9 hours and 41 minutes this will be equal to 12 hours and 26 minutes 12 hours and 26 minutes the surfing activity starts one and a half hour before the high tide on tuesday before high tide on tuesday afternoon so tuesday this one afternoon will be this one this is afternoon because this is morning time this is afternoon so um, high tide this one and one and a half hour we have to subtract from here so that we can make it advanced so it will be 14 hours and 22 minutes minus one hour and 30 minutes so one hour and 30 minutes so our answer will be 12 52 12 hours and 52 minutes so 12 52 we can write answer i'll show you over here so we can write 12 52 then comes question number four a part some people go fishing and catch four types of fish some information is shown in the table and we have to um, we have to calculate first the complete the table this is 15 and this is 120 this is 9 and 72 so 15 into basically we will calculate 120 is representing 15 so we can calculate uh, degrees and number of fishes for example uh, 120 120 divided by this number 15 will be equal to 8 so similarly 72 uh, divided by 8 will be 9 so this is divided by 8 to get this uh, 32 divided by 8 will be 4 and uh, next remaining angle we can calculate from here so 360 minus these these number we will add these numbers first 120 plus 72 plus 32 will be equal to this one and three from 360 we can subtract 360 minus answer will be equal to 136 so this uh, angle will be 136 we will divide this by 8 to get the answer which is 17 over here so this is how we got this these numbers and angles and complete the pie chart this is uh, this one is 120 so this angle is basically they have drawn for us 120 degrees 
and mackerel is also 72 this angle is also drawn 72 degrees and next is 32 so we can move the page like over here this one and we will be drawing 32 from here we can draw 30 and 32 will be over here and we can join this with the circumference this is 32 degrees we can write here 32 degrees and the remaining angle is 136 which is this one 136 degrees and we can write here 136 is tuna and this is herring so h e double r i n g herring i can show you over here now it's clear so we have completed this pie chart uh, b part records show that 3 by 4 14 of all mullet caught are underweight in one day 168 mullets are caught work out the expected number of mullets that are underweight so 3 by 4 14 of 168 we can calculate and this will be 3 over 14 multiply by 168 will be equal to 36 so answer will be 36 will be underweight Question number five, write on the number this in words. This is simple one mark question. We'll have to just write this is 600. 600. Uh, four, 600, 4,000. 600, 4, Nine hundred and twenty five. Then a prime number between fifty and sixty, so it can be fifty three or you can write even fifty nine also. And the value of this one power is zero, so anything raised to power zero will be one. Find the smallest multiple of 7 that is greater than 100. So multiple of 7 which is greater than 100. Which is 105. 105 is divisible by 7. 105 is divisible by 715. So this will be multiple of 7 but it is uh, greater than 100. The largest cube number that is less than 100. So that will be cube number can be 4 cube which is equal to 64. So we can write here 64. The 6 factors of 45. So factors of 45 are 1 and this is divisible by 3, divisible by 5, 9 also, 15 also and 45. So these are the factors of 45. Then fourth part the irrational number between 6 and 7. So we can write under root of uh, 37 or even 2 pi will be irrational number in between 6 and 7. Here comes question number 6. Anand and Rahul and Samir go from, uh, go from school to the park each day. So this is school, this is park, this is Anand and this is Rahul. And distance time graph and work out the speed that Anand uh, cycles give your answer in kilometer per hour so this will be um, we require the speed of Anand we will be uh, taking the triangle we will basically find the gradient and this triangle will be considering for Anand's um, what do you call speed so hopefully you are understanding each and everything if you like the video just don't forget to subscribe maths tv and 
and press bell icon button so that you will be getting notifications for the videos. So this is the triangle which we will be considering for um, this one, what do you call, uh, speed of this one, Anand. So rise is this one which is 4, so rise over run which will be equal to run is this one which is uh, um, time we can write this will be f uh, 10 minutes and 11 uh, this will be each one is equal to 2 and so this will be 12 12 minutes basically so we can write 12 minutes basically this one so this will be we require in kilometer per hour so if we divide for example 4 divided by 4 and divided by uh, 0 hours and 12 minutes so this will be equal to 20 so this answer will be 20 for this one so we directly we have divided by the time if you are using like uh, normal division not time calculation then you will be dividing by 12 and in that case you will have to convert minutes into hours so in that case you will have to multiply by 60 and get answer as 20 but what I have done, I have div I have taken uh, this 4 which is uh, rise and divided this by the time directly. And that time we have, I have taken 0 hours and 12 minutes like this one. And it's directly resulting to the answer as 20. So this is the difference which I'm using time calculator button in most of the videos so that you can understand and you can solve the questions easily also. So this is the second part. Find the number of minutes that Anand arrives at the park before Rahul. So before Rahul. So for that one we can we can subtract this time also Rahul is reaching at this time and Anand is reaching at this time. So you can subtract this time from this time this one like for example this 15 40 15 hours and 40 minutes minus this 15 12 so 15 hours and 12 minutes you can subtract use this method and this will be equal to 28 minutes so I'm writing here 20 eight minutes and I'll go through the question as well this is the question find the number of minutes that Anand arrives at the park before Rahul I have calculated this and I have shown you this calculation this is 28 minutes I will write 28 minutes is basically already written so no need to write minutes 28 I have written and the second method which you can use to check the difference of time each box is equal to 2 minutes. See, each box is equal to 2 minutes. This is 10 minute difference and 5 boxes. So, if you count this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 multiplied by 2 is 28. You can check in this way also or you can directly use time calculation as I have done. So, both methods are correct. Then, Samir cycles at the same speed as Anand he arrives at the park at the same time as Rahul find the time that Samir leaves school so it means that Samir, Samir cycles at the same speed as Anand so speed of Anand is this one and by this speed it is taking 12 minutes 10, 10 up to this one and 12 up to this one so 12 minutes it means that summer is spending 12 minutes and arrives at the park at the same time as Rahul. So he's arriving at, at this time but taking 12 minutes. So we'll count boxes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it means this is the starting time over here. 
so we can draw so we can write here 15 um, we can write here 15 minutes this will be 15 28 basically this time this will be 15 28 so we can write here 15 28 or we can write here 15 28 and if you we can draw even on this one we can draw line over here so reaching at same line and this will be this will be the same gradient as the triangle of Anand so this will be same gradient B part on the other day Anand cycles two kilometer on the or to a beach and then walks the rest of the way to the park the travel graph shows his journey and this is school this is beach and this is park right on the ratio time minutes ratio minutes cycling and minutes walking so ratio we have to write so this is uh, minutes cycling two minutes walking two kilometers of beach cycling this is two kilometers of beach cycling and minutes if we check this is uh, each one is uh, two so this will be two four six six minutes we can write six ratio and this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this will be 20. So 6 ratio 20. In simplest form, we can write 3 2s are 6. And basically 2 3s are 6. And 2 10s are 20. So 3 ratio 10. We can write, write here 3 ratio 10. How we have calculated this 3 ratio 10? We have taken this 1, 2, 3 boxes. So each box is equal to two minutes. So this will be six minutes. And from this point onward up to this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten multiplied by two will be twenty. So six is issue twenty. So this is two threes are six, two four, uh, tens are twenty. So this will be three ratio twenty. Rahul leaves school at the same time as Anand. So Rahul is leaving school at the same time as Anand. Rahul walks two kilometers to the uh, bench at a constant speed. This is bench basically, not beach. So at the constant speed of six kilometer per hour, he then cycles the rest of the way to the park at a constant speed of 15 kilometer per hour. Complete the travel graph for Rahul's journey to the park. So if we want to draw this uh, graph. So for 2 kilometers, 2 kilometers speed will be 6 kilometers. It means to cover 2 kilometers, it will be taking 20 minutes at this speed. So 20 minutes, if we check from starting from here 20 minutes will be over here so two kilometer distance will be covered this will be the location so we can join this with this one with the origin this will be the graph then and next part is he then cycles the rest of the way to the park at a constant speed of 15 kilometer per hour so 15 kilometer remaining distance is uh, covered at 15 kilometers per hour. So it means the remaining distance to the park is uh, covered in 15 minutes because uh, the it's 15 kilometer in one hour. So the remaining distance covered it took like um eight minutes to cover that distance so we can join 
this line with this one over here so this will be the travel graph for him so he'll be reaching park over here and this will be eight minutes and this side is uh, two minutes so two kilometers so two kilometers in eight minutes and uh, it will be two um, two kilometers in distance of two kilometers will be covered in eight minutes now this uh, a part is done b part use your use your travel graph to find the number of minutes that anand arrives at the bench before rahul so anand reaches at the bench before rahul so we can count the boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 boxes each box is 2 minutes so 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 2 will be 14 so this will be our answer 14 minutes mm, find the greatest distance between anand and rahul as they travel to the park so when they travel from this distance when they travel to the park this is the difference uh, which is uh, Uh, greatest distance will be one point five kilometer. See, this is uh, distance from here to here. Maximum can be from two to three. If we check from here, this will be one. This is two, and this is three. so 1 km each box is half km so if you check this line and this line difference this is not more than um, more than 2 and a half boxes so 2 and a half boxes are uh, equal to 1.5 km so we will write here 1.5 km question number 7 this is transformation question they have given diagrams a b c and d they have given four drawings um the question is saying the diagram shows four shapes a b c d four shapes drawn on a 1 cm square grid find the area of shape b shape b if we check this is 1 1 2 3 complete uh, squares and this is half this is half so this will be constituting 1 so 1 2 3 and 4 so we can write 4 cm square will be the area now b part b part is describe fully the single transformation that maps a on to b so to check transformation we can um we can use tracing paper to check the tra uh, transformation a on to a on to shape b this is shape a so if we trace shape a will be this one roughly we have traced this and coordinate axis also we can trace this will be our coordinate axis and if we check this one a on to a this will be if we keep this as center and rotate see this will be fitting on it so this is exactly fitting on this 
this one rotation 90 degree this is 90 degree and clockwise rotation 90 degree clockwise about this point which is 0 and minus 2 so our description over here will be rotation rotation 90 degree clockwise and about center which is 0 and minus 2 then shape B on to shape C shape B on to shape C this is uh, the same shape just moved to the Sun if we check this point this is 1 2 3 4 units left so minus 4 this will be minus 4 and from here above 1 2 units so this will be two units so this will be the matrix which we can write over here minus four and two we can write here the transformation then third part shape c on to shape d c on to shape d we can check this this is uh, we can join for example these whatever corners we can join them and we will check where those corners will be meeting and we can see this side also meeting over here then from here we can join these two corners as well even we can join this corner also and we can join this as well this one and this one and we can join this also and we have already joined this so these are all the lines which we can draw which we have already drawn so this one you can see this is uh, this is one unit from here and this is two units so double so it is uh, an enlargement by scale factor 2 so this is enlargement by scale factor 2 and the center of enlargement is this point which is minus 2 and minus 7 minus 2 and minus 7 so we can write here enlargement enlargement um, and scale factor is 2 scale factor is 2 and center of enlargement is minus 2 and minus 7 next C part on the grid draw the image of a sh of shape D after the reflection in the line X is equal to minus 1 so the line x is equal to minus 1 we can draw x is equal to minus 1 is this line so shape d is this one so i will start from here and this is x is equal to minus 1 and a reflection um, of this image d this will be from here we can check one unit so we'll take it one unit over here this point then one unit we can take over here then from this mirror line we are checking this is two units so one and two units so this will be this one will be one two three units so from one, here one two three units over here so we can draw these lines this will be on the y-axis portion and then this will be the line which we can draw and next is two units so two units will be over here so we can draw those two units like this then this will be two units down so two units down will be this one then two units this side two units 
towards this line then two units down this will be two units down then two units this side and then uh, next will be basically this two units will draw over here and then we will be joining this with this one and our shape will be complete and what we can do we can sh shaded portion I'm shading for your understanding this one and this shape these two shapes are are mirror to each other so we have done this c part as well which is two marks question now question number eight which is a bearing question the scale drawing shows the positions of two towns um, town yatterford which is y and Rexley, which is R, on a map. The scale is 1 centimeter is to 15 kilometers. Uh, represents 15 kilometers. Okay. So, write the scale of the map in form of 1 um, ratio 9. 1 ratio 9 form it. So, we can convert this uh, like 1 centimeter both should be same units like if one is centimeter the other should also be converted into centimeter so one ratio 15 this is kilometer you will multiply this with 1000 to change into meters and further 100 to change into centimeters so it will be one ratio one five and five zeros one two three four five zeros so our answer will be 1 ratio 1 5 1 2 3 4 5 zeros this will be our answer then work out the second part work out the actual distance of Rexley and Yatterford so actual distance we will measure from here with centimeters we can use this will be 5 point 5.8 centimeter is this measurement which the paper which we are using is 5.8 centimeters and what what we will do we will have to convert into kilometers so we will be using one point uh, five point 5.8 multiplied by 15 will be equal to 5.5.8 5 into 15 will be equal to 87 kilometers 87 kilometers but the thing is that this paper which is published is little uh, reduced one and the drawing um, distance is not matching with the marking scheme marking scheme distance should be answer is 96 so divided by 15 measurement should be a 6.4 so the original drawing which is uh, paper in examination paper this distance was 6.4 so if we take 6.4 centimeters and multiply it with 15 so 6.4 multiplied by 15 will be equal to 96 96 kilometers this is the measurement this is the calculation which is for the original paper in which measurement was 6.4 and it will be 96 kilometers but this drawing which we are using over here is having 5.8 centimeters distance between these two locations and multiply by 15 to convert into kilometers this will be 87 kilometers so both calculations i have done for your explanation so you should not be confused by checking the marking scheme measure the bearing of Rexley and yatterford so we have to measure the bearing of this one from this one means we have to measure this angle 
to measure this angle we can move page like this one and we can use protector so this one will be this will be if you check from here this is the zero this is the origin point this is the line and up to this one 90 then 100 110 115 16 and 17 so 117 degrees this will be the bearing of this one 117 degrees next part four is a hospital is to be built on an area of land between 45 kilometer and 60 kilometer from this one so we'll use compass for this and 45 kilometers will be convert, divided by 15 so it will be 3 centimeter 3 centimeter will be opening like this one so this is exactly 3 centimeters from this location 3 centimeter we have to draw like this one and we can extend over here then next is 60 kilometers mean 4 centimeters so we'll open this compass now 4 centimeter this is exactly 4 centimeter now we can again uh, put on the same location and draw another arc like this so we got the location of this uh, arc now next they are saying the bearing of the hospital from uh, Yetterford is between 250 to 295 250 to 295 so um, from here if we draw straight line I'm putting a dotted line over here so this will be 180 this from here this will be 180 so 180 uh, but we require 250 so 250 minus 180 will be equal to 70 so we'll have to add 70 uh, degrees over here when we will place over here and we'll add 70 degree will be up to this one so 70 this will be 250 uh, this one this will be bearing of 250 and the bearing of 295 295 will be um, 360 basically 18 we can write 295 minus 180 will be equal to 115 so 115 is also required from here so we can draw 100 and 110 and 115 will be over here so we can draw a line on this side as well so this is 100 and 250 and 295 okay so we are done with these so after drawing this one we'll have to um, basically extend these lines because these lines are uh, not intersecting these points so we can extend this line and also we can extend this line as well and we have to now we got this area on the map construct the shade construct and shade the region in which the hospital is to be built 
so this is the area in which hospital should be built so this type of bearing questions require a lot of practice also and you will have to go through uh, past paper questions as well we have uploaded bearing topic wise video also so this is the region in which hospital should be built this region is uh, satisfying all the conditions this is uh, in between 45 and 60 kilometers from this location and bearing of bearing of uh, 250 to 250 and 295 in between this one so this is the shaded portion which where a hospital should be built then they are saying b part the bearing of bar town from white stock is 073 073 work out the bearing of white uh, white stroke from breton so like for example bar town so uh, for example say bar town is over here and we can take it as b and north will be above so north will be say this is the north and they are saying bar town from white stock is uh, 073 so first we'll have to basically draw this uh, it's First, we have to draw the white stalk. So I will erase this one. First, we will consider that white stalk is over here, and this is the north, and this is W white stalk, and from here, bearing of zero seventy three, we can draw bearing of zero seventy three like this one we can put protector over here and we can draw 0 70 is this one 73 will be this one so we can draw this line up to this one so this is bearing of 0 73 degrees the bearing of Barton from white stock is this and it means that second location is this one which is bar town so they are asking work out the bearing of white this one this location from this one so it means we require this whole angle up to this to, to find this angle, what we can do, we can extend this line with dotted like this one. So this is the line. Now, this angle, these are north. This is north, this is north. So these are parallel to each other. This is 0, 0,73. This portion will also be 0, 0,73. And this angle is 180. So 180 plus 0, 0,73. 180 plus 0, 0,73 will be equal to how much? 180 plus 73 will be equal to 253 so our answer will be 253 degrees now question number nine the shop sells pens and notebooks the cost of a pen is p cents um, p cents and the cost of notebooks is n it's n cents on monday the shop sells five pens and four notebooks for 450 cents complete the equation so this will be equal to 450 cents on tuesday the shop sells 10 pens and three notebooks for 525 cents 10 pens and three notebooks so we can write 10 p plus 3 n and this will be equal to 525 cents so 
C part solve your uh, two equations to find the cost of a pen and the cost of a notebook you must show all your working this is first equation so you can write 5p plus 4n 5p plus 4n is equal to 450 and the second equation we can write 10p plus 3n will be equal to 525 so to equalize the coefficients of p we will multiply this equation by 2 so this will be resulting to 10p plus 8p is equal to 450 multiplied by 2 will be 900 so we can subtract these two equations and this will be cancelled this will be minus 5p is equal to minus 90 plus 525 this will be equal to minus 375 minus 375 minus will be cancelled so 5p 5p is equal to 375 p will be equal to 375 divided by 5 so 375 divided by 5 will be equal to 70 5. So, value of P is equal to 75, which we can mention at the, uh, at the given place over here. Cost of pen is uh, basically not the pen. Uh, we have done mistake basically. This is 10P, 10P, this is not 8P, this is 8N. So we will write here 8n, this will also be 8 and this will be 5n and this will also be n value. So 5n, this is also n and this is also n. So value of n will be, notebook will be 75 which we have calculated. This n value we can replace in any of these two equations. So I will be replacing in first equation 5p plus 4 into n which is 75 is equal to 450 and we can simplify 5p um, is equal to 450 minus 4 into 75 so we can calculate this 450 minus 4 into 75 this will be equal to 150 so 5p is equal to 150 p will be equal to 150 divided by 5 so 150 divided by 5 will be equal to 30 so answer to pen cost of pen will be 30 cents question 10 a part seven students wants to join want to join the school diving club some information about these students is recorded in the table below and this is the information to join the diving club you must be at least 12 years old 12 years old in um, march 2018 and at least 150 centimeters tall uh, so 150 centimeter so this will be disqualified this will be disqualified Fied. so whatever is lesser than 150 centimeter will be disqualified will not be able to join you can see in other words and this one able to swim at least 0 0.5 kilometers if we check this criteria these three things we will have to check for all of these uh, students so if we check this is 153 and date of birth is also shooting and 0 0.5 distance is also um, he can swim better this will be not sufficient for our urge or what and this one is also uh, 500 this is okay but uh, this is not this is 200 only so if we check this student is uh, satisfying the uh, all the criteria so we'll write c a l a and the other one which is satisfying is this one this one is uh, satisfying 
distance also height also and distance also so and date of birth is also suiting so e l u e l u this will be our answer then the student dive off boards of different heights the speed s meter per second and they have given this formula for this and we have to replace h value and just replacing h value will be root 19.6 and multiply by h will be 10 so this will be equal to 14 so our answer will be 14 over here then they are saying make h as subject of the formula so we can write s square is equal to 19.6 h square root will be cancelled by taking square now we can find h is equal to s square over 19.6 so our answer will be h is equal to s squared divided by 19.6 question number 11 a b c d are four equations of state line graphs a b c d four equations are given and write down the letter a of the graph that passes through the point 1 and minus 1. So, passing through minus 1, it means that value of C should be minus 1. So, this will be uh, passes through the point 1 and minus 1. Um, so if we replace because this point line is passing through this point this point should satisfy the equation if we check this equation if we replace x is equal to 1 over here this will be 3 minus 4 so y will be equal to minus 1 so this point is satisfying this equation so value will be c uh, the answer will be c has a y intercept as 4 so y intercept is 4 over here so answer to this one will be a has a gradient of minus 4 so minus 4 is see this is the gradient value which is minus 4 so this will be d the point p and 20 minus 26 lies on the line this uh, work out the value of p so we will replace here um, y value and x value so this will be minus 26 y value is minus 26 so is equal to minus 3 minus 3 into x values p plus 4 so we can shift 3p to this side and minus 26 to other side so 3p will be equal to 26 plus 4 because we have shifted this to this side and this one to this side. So 3p will be equal to 30. So p will be equal to 30 over 3 which is equal to 10. So answer will be p is equal to 10. Now this is question number 19. And they have, uh, sorry, not question number 19. It's page number 19. Question is same b part. Uh, question number 11 b part b part 1 they have given this table of values and we have to complete this table and if we replace this value minus 3 over here x values so minus 3 will be replacing in brackets uh, squared and minus 10 into minus 3 Mm, minus 3 this will be equal to 39 so we can write here 39 if we replace 0 this will be 0 this will be 0 so this value will be 0 and if we replace 9 so this will be 9 squared minus 10 multiplied by 9 this will be equal to minus 9 so this will be table of values will be complete now they are saying on the grid draw the graph of this so these values minus 6 I'll move the graph a little above so that you can see this minus 6 point as well so minus 6 is this one 
माइनस सिक्स एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स सो नाइन्टी इज हेयर नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी फोर नाइन्टी सिक्स विल बी दिस पॉइंट आई एम पुटिंग क्रॉस ऑन दिस देन माइनस थ्री एंड थर्टी नाइन माइनस थ्री विल बी इन बिटवीन दिस वन ओवर हेयर एंड थर्टी इज दिस वन एंड थर्टी फोर्टी इज दिस थर्टी नाइन विल बी ओवर हेयर लिस्ट क्रॉस ओवर हेयर देन जीरो जीरो विल बी दिस पोजिशन ऑरिजन देन कम्स थ्री एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी वन थ्री इन द मिडल एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी इज अप टू दिस वन सो माइनस ट्वेंटी वन विल बी ओवर हेयर देन कम्स सिक्स एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फोर सो दिस वन देन कम्स सिक्स एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर इज डन नाइन नाइन विल बी इन दिस मिडल नाइन एंड माइनस नाइन सो माइनस टेन इज ओवर हेयर सो माइनस नाइन विल बी ओवर हेयर देन कम्स ट्वेल्व एंड ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेल्व एंड ट्वेंटी इज दिस वन ट्वेंटी फोर विल बी दिस वन देन कम्स फिफ्टीन एंड सेवेंटी फाइव इन द मिडल एंड सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एंड सेवेंटी फाइव विल बी दिस पॉइंट Hopefully you are following each and everything, and this requires uh, practice. Now you have to uh, draw, write down the coordinates of the lowest point of the graph. So first we have to draw the graph. They have written the draw the graph. So we'll have to draw the graph as like smooth curve. We have to draw like this one. So. Will be passing through this point, so we can rectify this. This one also. So there should be one line, basically, like this. and this side also we can draw line like this over here and we can join this hopefully you are understanding each and everything and up to this one see over here we don't have value so what we will do we can check value for like in between 4 and 6 we can check for 5 if how we will check we will replace x is equal to 5 in this equation and we will check this will be 5 squared minus 10 multiplied by 5 will be equal to minus 25 So for five, even we can write here five and minus twenty-five. This is for your understanding. I'm writing here for your understanding, and we can take value five and minus twenty-five. See, this is twenty, and in between one, two, and this one. So it will be over here. So this line should be should. Pass through this one, so I'm plotting this curve like this. So hopefully you understood each and everything, and this line also we can rectify like this. Okay, now this is better. This is our graph, and they're saying write down the coordinates of the lowest point of the graph. so this is almost the lowest point and x value we can write 5 which we have calculated also and minus 25 is the value which we have uh, taken from the lowest point now we have completed the paper and if you have subscribed the channel then thank you very much if you have not yet subscribed then 
um, subscribe mass tv and don't forget to press bell icon button so that you will be getting intimation for the new videos and soon i'll be uploading topic wise explanatory videos as well thank you very much for watch watching take care bye